Yo, what's poppin' First Order family? Welcome back. I got a brand new video for you guys. Another episode, the second episode of underrated ESO sets. Now, let me, you know, be 100% honest. I don't know. I don't know if this is like a set that people actually use or not. But what I will say is that the minute I saw it in the, um, the patch notes I knew that it would be it would be a good set if used properly now again I don't know if people use it or not I have not seen anyone using it which is why I put it in the underrated sets because it's it's very good PvE and PvP alright now you guys are looking at right now the Dotty build 2.0 that's a that's a video for you know another day but we're gonna focus on one of the sets for it and um let's just let's just jump into it right here i'm gonna, I'm gonna break down the set and um why it's why it's underrated to me the set is the curse of doyle mish right it adds 1150 uh, max health 1150 max health 123 spell and weapon damage which is um it's really like 130 once you get it gold but it's purple right now so 123 spell and weapon damage for the fourth piece bonus and the fifth piece bonus when using a fully charged melee heavy attack on a taunted monster or an enemy who is stunned or immobilized you will deal a bonus 13,000 physical damage this can occur every seven seconds so essentially <clears throat> excuse me so essentially if you were to fossilize someone and hit them with a heavy attack you know you would do this damage right well in PvE you would do this damage in PvP you do half of it which is about 6500 um, so you could scale that up or down based off the person's resistance or whatnot now um when someone breaks out of a cc right for like let's say fossilize it, it, it's a cooldown on when you can actually fossilize them again which is like what three seconds or five seconds or something which basically means that once that cooldown is over you know you'll be able to actually do this ability again so that means you'll be able to do this ability again which is great so i'm gonna go ahead i'm um I got a test dummy right here behind me. So I am going to. I'm going to show you guys what it what it looks like. I right guess so I'm going to show you what uh what the animation looks like for the ability. And um again, it it looks the same whether you taunt the enemy or whether you um CC them. So this, <clears throat> excuse me, this um, skeleton, this target skeleton cannot be CC'd. So I will taunt, I'm going to taunt it and then heavy attack it so you can see what it looks like. Okay. See that? That little red line right there, that was the Doyle move. Now if you check the, if you looked at the, the damage ticks, you'll see the amount of damage you did to this particular target um, skeleton all right so i'm gonna do it again and see what the number is okay basically eleven thousand. it was ten thousand eight seventeen. that's that's good that's good burst damage especially if you're an actual tank you know that's if you're an actual tank that helps you know that's just from heavy attacking so while you're 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 storing your resources, you're also doing a little bit of damage, which is great. Now, if you're a PVP and you do that, obviously you don't want to do the torrent because that it's not going to have the same effect. But if you you know you go ahead and fossilize them and then do it, you're hitting a person for a significant chunk of damage, which is which is great. 
All right, now, if you want, if you want to, um, if you if you want to stack that, like you can increase the amount of damage, right? You can increase the amount of damage that you have on this by changing up your sets. Now, if you wanted to, you could you could increase the amount of damage that the Doyomis, uh five piece will put out if you were to. If you were to um, change your second set, so you can increase the amount of damage that the five piece bonus of Doyle Mitch will put out. Right now, it is currently 13,000, 13,202. But if I was to switch Dorok's Bane to Strength of the Automaton, which would give you 386 weapon damage to your physical damage abilities, that'll buff that up. So, yeah, there's, um, there's a few ways you can go with this build, well, with this set. Um, automa strength of the automatons to buff up the damage. If you want to focus on getting the, mo the most out of physical damage as you can, um, you do have um, poison abilities as a Dragonite, so you could use something like Swamp Raider. But there's different ways you could go if you want to focus around the set straight tank or tank DPS. Or as you get on my build, which is straight dots. Person Doyle Mesh is a good set, man. Alright guys, um That's it man. Second episode of ESO underrated sets, the curse of Doyle Mesh. Check it out. Tell me what you guys think. But I run it and I run it pretty well. So there you go, man. Y'all already know, grip up. Famous power.